New this morning, Chicopee will continue its work to improve pedestrian safety around town, accepting state funding for infrastructure improvements. 22 News reporter Duncan McLean is live in Chicopee with information on this latest funding. Rich Taylor State Senator Jake Oliveira and the rest of the Chicopee State House delegation will present a check to the city this afternoon for $50,000 to continue their work to make our streets here in Chicopee safer for everybody that uses them. Now, this funding comes from the fiscal year 2024 state budget as cities and towns across the state continue to respond to rising traffic crashes and pedestrian deaths. The city of Chicopee alone saw five pedestrians killed in car crashes in 2022 representing a huge spike over recent years, prompting action at the municipal level with the installation of flashing beacons on a number of mid-block pedestrian crossings around town. This grant money will be used to install more as well as procure solar-powered speed indicators, which are proven to slow cars down, and additional signage for pedestrian crossings at at intersection crosswalks. The funding will be formally presented at a ceremony at 3 o'clock at City Hall this afternoon. In the next half hour, I'll point out some of the more dangerous pedestrian crossings in Chicopee, according to MassDOT data. Working for you live in Chicopee, Duncan McLean, 22 News.